Hey guys, welcome back for more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. This is part 9, chapter 1. Technically, we already finished chapter 1, but since we haven't started chapter 2 yet, I'm just, you know, gonna keep going with chapter 1. So, we x nuts are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you, we're quite nasty. Dot, dot, dot. Grotus, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, somebody nabbed it. Or someone. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me, Mario? I didn't even have to do a voice there. Gah, ha, gah, gah, I can't see. Nobody can do that laugh. I see, so you know of this Mario, do you? This fool matters not at all. I know all about him before long. I'll know about all. That I promise. I go bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understand? She is not to be harmed. Yes, I got. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the Crystal Star we're haunting for in Boogly Woods. I think it's Boggly Woods, or Boogly. I'm not entirely sure. Boogly, Boggly Woods, something. You must first return there immediately and pass in the vacuum. Whatever. Whatever that is. Well, uh, oh yeah, sure. Roger grows, and with that, pow, I'm gone. I wonder if some people are from there alone, it's wise. He is a bit out there. He is. Excellent. I summon you. You rang, dude? I mean, sir? You, you rang, sir? Grotus, dude? Grotus, sir? Grotus, sir? Shut up. Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. The, the sh Shadow Sirens, sir? But they... I don't care how you plan to end this if that sentence, fool. I'll get them now. Gotcha. The Honorable Grotus has need of us. Then we arrive without delay. Whee! Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? No, I'm not gonna even talk like that for them. Still your tongue, Beldum. Beldum. Yeah, it's Beldum. We would already have it if you, if you snatched her earlier. But now since you missed your chance, the poor fool named Mario has taken the map. Has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there, too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. Retreat. Why worry? All we need to... Oh, I get tongue-tied way too easily. All we need to do now is find Martin and steal the map. Yes? Indeed. That is your duty. Must I remind you that map is vital to the x not plan? I will have men and prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You Shadow Sires must take care of this troublemaker. Hey, fear not, Sire. Yeah, Sire, okay. I, Beldum, shall return without with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come on. Or come. Whatever. We've got a job to do. I think that's pronounced Marilyn. Good. Here, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again and Mario tells me those words sick again. But hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I can't do a peach voice. I wish I could at least let Mario and Tozworth know that I've been caught. Woo, we have to be a peach just like the first game. Let's go in here. Hmm, a toilet. Why, a lovely shower! No soap scum even! Wow, I wonder if it works! Oh, boy. Paper dress. Shouldn't she get, like, all soggy and, like, you know, fall apart? 
She's paper. Paper towel. <laughs> I get it. Paper towel. Never thought of it like that. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. This is the only scene in the game where you'll see her hair up like this. Not, not that it's special or anything. I mean, once you go back in here, her hair is down. Hmm, what was that? Hey, how odd. The doors open themselves. It's a sign that Peach must go through them. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. So they continue to walk. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. <gasps> Beep. <laughs> Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am T-E-C-X-X, -X, but you may call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be the perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus, wait, is he's that awful dome-headed thing who in <laughs> interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Oh, I don't think so. But I doubt you'll I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering why did you lead me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program to vi the God, I cannot talk today or any other day. Whatever that word is, occurred when I observed you earlier. Did they did it, did it whatever. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Oh wow. Also, an identified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. Ew. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no... Pr too many big words. President. Cause unknown, I, the perfect computer, was diagnosed with unusual situation. I will not fail. This is why I led you here. That did not sound kinky at all. What did you just say you went to observe me to know more about me? <laughs> Can it be that you? No, impossible, it can't be. You're a computer! What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really because it's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. God, we're already 8 minutes and 15 seconds into this. There should be... There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe, is it possible that, well, you're in love with me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love? How do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. Makes you feel happy just to see this, that person smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness? Fun? I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insignificant. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am the perfect computer. I am a... Comprehend love? Love is not something you comprehend, heck, you feel it. Princess Peach, will you tell me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer. Why would I care about? <laughs> Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. And I'm getting a text message. God. If you have any wishes that I can grant in your exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I'm unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What, are you insane? You ex-jerks kidnap me like common Koopas. And now you call me in here to ask me to trench you with the meaning of love, and now I gotta end the part here. Before I end the part, I would like to know what this text message I got. I had it over on the chair, and I heard it vibrate. No! 
did you get my YouTube message? Taylor, if you're watching this, I got it, and it was a horrible message. It was gross. Alright, so I will see you guys in part 10 of chapter 1, even though we're still technically out of chapter 1, but you guys get it. I will see you guys next time.